Hello everyone, this is Fuzzfinger. Welcome back to Nino Kuni. Today we are going to Alma Moon because it needs the cleansing treatments that we have just given to Ding Dong Dell. So enter the city when you are ready and be prepared for another batch of zombies. And they are a little bit easier to avoid this time, but I think they're also a little bit faster. So just be a tad cautious about uh, running past them that you don't get too close because chances are they're going to catch up to you if you do. Now, as before, you're... Look at that, man. That guy's big, but boy, is he fast. And this is actually a little bit uh, scary. But Oliver, you know, he's a brave lad. He doesn't let anything put him off. And if you do take a bit of damage, then there's a brand new waystone for you to interact with there. I'm going to take the opportunity to just keep running straight into the palace, which is our destination. Flippin' heck, that big beast looks cow familiar. Oh no! The cow leafer too? So the cow leafer is our boss, unsurprisingly. And just like the uh, cat boss, she does spawn her health back up to four once you kill her so you effectively have to fight her twice so best to try and save some MP and get her down the first time as quickly as you can probably like using melee attacks or whatnot her second form is a little bit more intimidating in the sense that it does more damage and her attack spells get upgraded but other than that uh, this fight shouldn't be too much of a challenge at least that's what he says while he still has full health, but hopefully we'll keep that. But right, I'm going to switch over to Biggs because Percy Boy there needs a little bit of a recharge. Struggling a bit at the minute. And some of these abilities you can interrupt or just flat out dodge altogether. But the one attack you will need to be called, uh, careful of is the Royal attack. Or something. But not really until the second phase where it's upgraded you'll have to defend against it I'm just going to see if I can get the name of that one for you uh, just so you know what you're looking for ok it's Royal Royal Rush but you don't need to worry about it at the minute not until the, that, there it is right there you can defend if you want but it gets upgraded in the second phase of this fight to an ability called the Flying Cow and when you see that, you need to hit the all out defense button and defend on your main character. But there goes the Cowlifer, and she's back with full health. So we'll switch on over to Oliver for a bit. To try and interrupt. You can, by the way, interrupt her with Burden if you cast it in time. And I am just going to cast it now, even though she's not casting anything. Because if you cast it at the right time, where's it gone? near the top yeah uh, at least the battle freezes when you're selecting a spell if you cast it at the right time you can get a golden glim okay so she's getting ready for a body slam well I think that's what we were doing wasn't it burden oh man come on Cast the spell, will you please? So we got the chance. We didn't get a golden glim this time, but you get the idea. Right, uh, I don't think the cowlifer is weak against anything, so I'm not going to bother casting elemental stuff, but we'll try the even star. See what sort of damage we get done with this. If it's a lot, I might spam it a bit. 440. Uh, it's about what we would expect, I think, from the even star. Ah, there's a golden glim. I'm going to grab that now. If we cast Burning Heart, then maybe we could interrupt her again. And also, the Burning Heart does a nice bit of damage as well. So, yeah, casting Burden, followed by a spell like even star. Seems like a good way to get her to drop something. So we'll cast Burden once more. It's worked out well last time. Now's your chance. And just wait for our spells to come up. 
or maybe we could try more on Star, seeing as how uh, even Star is an AoE ability, we don't want to waste the MP if more Star is going to do the same sort of damage. As you can see, a lot of the abilities she does, you can dodge. Just keep an eye out for that cow, whatever one I said has the cow in the name. I don't think he cast Bird and then did it because we got interrupted. Okay, no, she's just become immune to it. As I said, you can really only do it once or twice in the battle anyway. But Mornstar seems to be doing some nice damage still. I've got a feeling she's going to be doing her nasty ability soon. Go on, have that. There we go, flying cow. Oh, I didn't get defence off on Oliver. Oh, well, he took like 80 points of damage and everyone's stunned, which is annoying because we did defend on Esther's way. I probably shouldn't be casting this too close, so let's move. Now, I know Oliver's only on half health, and she seems to be after Oliver as well. Uh, let's... Do all of these do damage to all enemies? Yeah. I'm not going to cast Unleash, even though I do like the ability to summon some of the old bosses we've defeated. Simply because I think it might be, you know, wasted against a single enemy. Uh, I'm tempted to... I know we're not getting healed, that's because Esther and the like are all out of MP. But I'm tempted not to waste a coffee at the moment, seeing as how the cowardly foot is going down. Slowly but surely she's going down, and I think we've done it, yeah? Pretty awesome. <laughs> the poor cowardly foot looks uglier than usual as well. Another four and a half K experience, thank you, thank you. Warcry, what does Warcry do? Uh, boosting attack, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Evil and Vase because I don't like randomness. So I'll put Warcry there instead, seeing as how Scully does a lot of melee damage, it would be nice to boost that. Right, leave it to P. Sanctify! Okay, so Queen Lola is back to her pretty self once again. Did P just call her a moo? It's not very pleasant, is it? <laughs> and the cow liffer seems to have the uh, hots for Marques in, isn't he the lucky one? So it looks like we have rectified the problem in Alma Moon, having redeemed the city from, uh, from the zombie apocalypse of the mana spell. Which means we are two cities down with one to go, namely that being Hamelin. Yeah, she's doing well, she's doing well. Yeah, he's trippy blind. What does he think P's holding? I'm going to get a little bit more backstory as we did before then. Apus, at least I have you to talk to. What the council are doing. 
Can it be right? Earlier on, I overheard the captain of the guards. He said the kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet, the council assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Tell me, Apis. This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council, provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from Her Majesty's hearing. Yes, and ensure that she is made publicly responsible for all of the Council's decisions. Ha! A most splendid idea. We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the Council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, and I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, Father. Soon I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. Yeah, this is definitely a mysterious person, isn't it, P? What's going on? I have no idea, actually. Although P does seem to be like a kind of ghost anyway, doesn't she? Even though they can see her, they couldn't see her in the other world. And we get our second flower and have to move on to Hamelin but before we do that we have a brand new errand to pick up in the redeemed uh, Helma Moon so we're going to head back over there now this is only a quick one especially if you know where you're going which fortunately I do at least I hope I do so first we'll grab the errand then we'll do the errand then we'll hand the errand in I mean, that's all pretty obvious really, isn't it? Uh, head over to the cat cradle. Yeah, we're quite low on health and whatnot, but there's no fighting in this errand, so I'm not going to bother resting up just yet. Inside, you should find a con artist. Well, I'm assuming he's a con artist. His name is Con the Artist. So, Con the Artist needs a model in order to paint his picture. He wants to paint a picture of a girl child, but without a model, his imagination is not suitable. So, he wants us to go and kidnap a little girl and drag her to him so that he can paint his picture. I guess we are in the habit of kidnap now. So we'll go and fulfil his uh, wishes in order to collect our reward. Uh, we need to fly over to the western continent 
the very small continent uh, that's exactly sort of like west of the map. So I'm just going to see which is the closest thing to take us there. Uh, possibly Yule, in fact. And then we can just fly down south to get to where we want to go. Using good old Teng Tengri, who is our most trusted dragon ally. And possibly our only dragon ally. No, 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 don't land yet. We have to actually get there first, it would be helpful. Whee! Look at me, I'm flying on a dragon, flying on a dragon. Right, here's the island, we just need to find somewhere safe to land. Looks like this will be good a place as any. Have we been here already? I'm not sure, maybe we could just have a very quick look to see if there's any hidden treasures here. If there is, I wouldn't like to miss them. There's a forage point, which we'll grab for a rumble nut. And there is, but it's on the, the wrong flipping side of the mountain. I don't know if we can get there from here, can we? Okay, well, we'll have a look at that in a moment. One of these is the secret forest glade. That we need to find the poor child we want to kidnap. Ah, there's a purple chest. So we'll open that while we're here. I'll tell you that, I'm not going to miss that. Using our fabulously upgraded spring lock ability. Piece of enigma armour. Oh, that sounds pretty darn powerful. Uh, no, you can't use it. Can anybody use it? Come on, who can use Enigma armor? Boing, boing. Oh, it's like a plated type armor. Oh, it's not very good for uh, him. Why is he still using a blazing blade? He should have a radiant blade right about now, shouldn't he? Uh, knight armor. Yeah, go on, you can have the Enigma armor. And here is the unfortunate victim. The innocent victim who just wants to play. <laughs> oh, Oliver. You are terrible, mate. You are terrible. Anyway, we'll automatically bring her back to the artist. And we get a shield of the pure and 3,000 guild, uh, guilders for our uh, criminal work. And a whole six merit stamps. Very good, very good. And for Alma Moon, we are now done. We have purified the city and done the errand that's popped up uh, for purifying the city, which means we can now move on to Hamelin. So please join me next time as we continue our work of redeeming zombies. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also share this video with your friends as well on Facebook and whatnot. Let's try and get it to a bigger audience. I'd really love that. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you next time for more Nino Cooney. Bye for now.